Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing the re- review of WrestleMania 34. Yes. A lot of wrestling. Uh, yeah. A long night. Yeah. It was, what, seven hours between the pre-show and the actual uh, card? Yeah. So. Yeah. Pretty much ended directly at midnight. Yep. Um, overall thoughts? Uh, it was a good show that was ruined by a bad ending. Which seems to be a very common occurrence nowadays for some reason. Yeah. So, um, Vince McMahon is evil. In case, that's true. Uh, in case anyone didn't know that already. <laughs> what I had heard is that there was speculation that the card was so predictable that Vince decided to switch things around at the well, end. Why there? Oh, I don't know if that is exa- <laughs> because apparently there was. Uh, an altercation between Vince and Lesnar after the show. Where Lesnar had thrown the title, either at Vince or at the wall. Uh-huh. I don't know, obviously, the legitimacy of it. Yeah, However, there was huh. talk about it. So I'm wondering if he had gone into business for himself a little bit. And just... Maybe with the whole busting him open yeah, and that everything. That part, maybe. Because I was going to say, he was, it, uh, it's not like Roman couldn't have stopped him from winning. No, I know, but... I, you know. Because you would, you would think that if Lesnar wasn't supposed to win, he would have been disqualified. Something so he would have still retained the title, but he wouldn't have won, which would... The New Orleans screw job. Yes. <laughs> Except it wouldn't have quite worked out that No, way. obviously not. But that's probably what would have happened. Yeah. So it, it's, hard to, uh, it's hard to imagine that that's the case. Well, no, I, I just, you know... It, it probably had more to do with the... The, the bloodshed, blood. yeah. yeah. So. Um, so, uh, favorite match of the night? Um, well, Charlotte versus Asuka was very good, mm-hmm. but my favorite match had to be the Raw Tag Team match. <laughs> just, just because of how entertaining it was. And how much WWE trolled their fans. It did not disappoint, though, that's for sure. Yeah, no, no it was hilarious. Because there were so many possibilities of who his partner could be, but I didn't care about any of them. It didn't add anything to oh, it yeah. for me. No, it makes so sense. I I was I wanted him to do, do it by himself, which yeah. is what he did. Basically, so yes. it was great. It was it was awesome. Still an illegal tag. He didn't have the kid didn't have the tag rope. That was my gripe. Yep. Um, it's the only problem with that match. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I think uh, Oscar and Charlotte was my favorite match of the show. It was very uh, solid. Yeah, it was a good good story. And it seems that the rumors going around, I know we're a year away, is that Charlotte versus Ronda, WrestleMania 35. That makes sense. It does. Yeah. Yep. We'll just hope that Ronda gets a little better at the whole wrestling thing. Yeah. she got a year. It's a long time. Yep. So. Is that that going to be an event next year? That's the rumor. I was going to say it very well could. It could. I mean, you know. Um, But it's, it's funny because... The WWE said that, you know, anybody that comes into the company is going to have to go through NXT and to the main roster and everything. And it, it's just funny how you can tell what a difference oh, a polished... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, it's something you, that can't really be rushed, Mm-mm. you know? Nope. She, she is extraordinarily green. Yeah. Because you could just tell from her promo skills, mm-hmm. her, obviously, lack of wrestling ability. Because she can pretend to fight people yeah but that's about it so while some of the spots in her match were cool wasn't necessarily like good looking funny a lot of people really 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 enjoyed that match no it was i think it was it was the expectation i think that's what it really was was. entertaining i'm just saying that she was very dana brooke-esque well i mean you put (laughs) you put her up against somebody who's not a normal in-ring competitor as well i'll tell you what though stephanie looked really good in that match yeah no no everybody made each other look good and that that was really what it all came down to all right let's 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 Start get started right from the top in order. Yes, the first match we had during the pre-show was the Andre the Giant Memorial yes. Battle Royal. The pre-pre-show, yeah, the first so hour. <laughs> this was a match where literally nobody would have gained from winning. So apparently, since we walked in when the match had just started a little bit, kind of, Aiden English had a full head of hair in the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Seriously? He got out, shaved his head, and that's when he came out with Rusev. Yeah, that's really? what I heard online. Yeah, I didn't pay attention oh, enough. Oh, yeah, we so. wouldn't have noticed. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's what I had that's heard. That's very strange. Um, anyway, 
like I said, no one really had anything to gain from winning this because there was two former winners in it right. who have literally in the done, final three, right? Uh, three or four, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who literally had done nothing. Um, well, here's the thing: they seem to make always such a big deal about it, and, and you know the whole Andre documentary was coming out this year, so we yeah. thought, you know, maybe they're really gonna actually do something with it. And you know, the route they went is perfectly fine because. They've continued a storyline. Oh, you're talking about with the, the finish? Of the yeah, match? with the yeah, finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, that's the yeah. only good thing about it, and yeah. it has nothing to do with the mm-hmm. tournament. Because it ended up being, I think it was Mojo, Baron, and Matt Hardy were the last three. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, Bray Wyatt's thing hits, goes dark, and he appears. Who said, what the hell was that? Was it JR or King? It was. I think it was JR. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so... Um, Braid distracts them. I think Matt eliminates both of them, mm-hmm. and then he wins. Um, and now the two of them, the two of them embrace. So I guess they have an alliance now. Yeah, this is almost exactly what happened. Well, not obviously not with the battle royal. Part. Yeah, right, right. But after Jeff during the final deletion, he uh, was in the Lake of Reincarnation. Mm-hmm. He uh, came back and teamed with Matt. So I'm assuming that's what we're getting here, which Absolutely. is fine. Yeah, um, and that's good. The two of them as a team against normal people makes a lot more sense than two crazy people like talking nonsense at each other <laughs> so yeah um, um but yeah i yeah that, no, that no, was it's... the only good outcome right that could have yeah, come absolutely out of that. yeah because you don't want a tag team member to win because it means nothing um, and as we've seen in the past that it does absolutely nothing mm-hmm. for the lower card <laughs> right right guys. what it's, it doesn't mm-hmm. elevate them like they claim it mm-hmm. does so but they made the right decision. Yes. Which is weird. And then we had uh, the cruiserweight finals of the tournament mm-hmm. with Cedric Alexander versus Mustafa Ali. Yes. Uh, they told a good story in the mm-hmm. ring. There was a lot of good spots, yes. too. Um, but it just not... it kind of lacked some, I guess, motivation. Well, you know, I, I think they're, I guess the... Uh, can't think of the word for 205 live how it's different than the other that you know they say all these guys can do moves that nobody else can do well mm. that i mean we saw what a couple of spanish flies and yes and then later on in the night i think yeah it was charlotte and oscar that yeah i was gonna it. say i'm mm-hmm. almost positive it happened in a women's match yeah so but it they're not as you you know yeah they weren't showcased as unique no. it's we didn't we just showcased this as a regular match also both both uh both cedric and ali didn't really do anything different from what they normally Mm-mm. do no um so during the cruiserweight tournament leading up to this match there was a lot of like good matches like the gulak and ali match yeah, was yeah. great because um, it was different mm-hmm. yeah so ali decided to be a uh a brawler rather than a high so flyer. This this was a very kind of by the numbers match, which was unfortunate because mm-hmm. it was a quality match. Yeah. It just didn't have the. It feel didn't stand out. It. That's yeah. really what it was. Yeah. So well, you know, everything was good. No complaints about the match. Yeah, but it just it wasn't what we had hoped. Right. Exactly. Um, you gave him the grandest stage of them all, and uh, yeah. granted, they were on the pre-show, so they that could have something to do with it. A little bit. Um, but yeah, it was uh, Cedric Alexander winning in the end. Yep. Hits the lumbar check. That's it. And he uh, is the new Cruiserweight champion. That's it. Not a surprise. I think that this was all but certain based off of the way that Enzo's title reign ended. It seemed like he was going to win. It was just a little later now than that's when it. originally he was supposed mm-hmm. to. Um, and then we have the women's battle royal. This is kind of a mess. This is funny, though, because normally what they do is they... They have all of the the peons come out first, and then they give entrances to a couple of people. Mm -hmm. Becky came out first, and she had an entrance, and then they... (laughs) You were like, oh, no, they're all going to get entrances. It seemed that way. Because it was like 620 at this point. Yeah. And then they had, like, everybody except for a couple of them, Mm -hmm. and then it was Sasha and Bailey both got entrances, too. That was it. Um, There was five NXT people? Something like that. Dakota Kai, Kyrie Sane, um, the Indian girl. Yeah, I Kavita can't Devai, yeah, something I like that, yeah. Um, there was Peyton Royce. Mm-hmm. I think it was a little more than five. Um, and then the the girl that helped out, the Undisputed, the Undisputed Era. Era. Yeah. can't remember um, her name. 
But yeah, it started a little bit with NXT versus the main roster. Yeah. And then we just got a ton of uh, eliminations. Somehow, I guess Naomi ended up on the outside. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah it was definitely more than five. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. But So, yeah, it was uh, Sasha and Bailey left by themselves. Um, you know, they... Would they go to shake hands, right? Well, Sasha went to shake her hand. And right, then... and then Bailey threw her over the top rope. Yes. She thought she won. Naomi was never eliminated. Comes in and eliminates Bailey, and she is your winner. Yeah. It was a little weird. Well, considering that it was there's no build to mm -hmm. it. If anything, it was kind of just the, like, uh, like you never would have thought that was going to happen right. kind of thing. And Not that Naomi's particularly a bad no, person to give but... it to, but there's no build to it. No, and, you know, she did have her moment last year, right? She won the—or mm -hmm. she— yeah, she won the title, right? Yeah, she yeah. won it back from in the uh, Fatal Alexa Five Bliss Way or whatever it was in the Six Pack six Challenge, pack challenge the match that we didn't think was actually going to happen. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, but yeah, that happened. It's true. Then we opened up the main card with Seth Rollins versus The Miz versus Finn Balor for the Intercontinental Championship. Yes, uh, this was a fantastic match. It was very good. Not um, a surprise. No, no, no. The right match to go on first, mm -hmm. which we had said. Um, you know, this was another match that anyone could, could win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. It, it seemed and, it seemed like basically anybody except for the Miz was going to win going into it. Yeah, but even there was there was still where, a possibility. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Um, but it was a strong showing from all three of these guys. Mm -hmm. Um, Seth ended up coming out on top, but he had a curb stomp on. I believe was it Finn? I want to say he pinned Finn. Yeah, I think so. Um. And uh, so Seth is now a Grand Slam champion and the new Intercontinental champion. Yep. So he kind of uh, got the Randy Orton treatment. Yeah, where he won <laughs> the world title and then he won yeah. the uh, lower card belt. Um, but yeah, very entertaining. Yeah. Um, interested to see who will be going after that. Yeah. Because The Miz is probably going to be off TV for, for a little, at least a little bit while. Um, yeah. So it could be Seth and Finn yeah. going at it. I'd, Which would be I'd fine. Be fine. Yeah, they always put on good matches together. So, but uh, but yeah, that it's a, uh, it's a good uh, good moving forward. Mm -hmm. So then we had the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship. Yeah, uh, Charlotte versus Asuka. Really title so versus Streak. Surprising that this was the second match. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm no. It made sense. I'm not complaining about it. It made sense, and I'm I'm saying I liked the spot because I enjoyed it more in this spot. Well, because it wasn't following, like, a stinker, and it wasn't following something big. Or the fact that I wasn't six hours into watching wrestling. Also true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense, too. Because, like, even the AJ and Shinsuke match, I couldn't enjoy as much because I yeah. was just like, was very, all right, I'm, I'm a little late. tired now. Yeah. Maybe that match should have gone on first. <laughs> nah, I, no. Not because of the way. Not for I the way. It. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, but it was a very good match. Oh, this they, they did a great storytelling. Mm -hmm. um, back and forth throughout the entire match. Uh, Charlotte went for a moonsault, and Asuka uh, reversed it into a uh, triangle yes. choke. Uh, mm -hmm. Just just beautiful. Yeah. They had a Spanish fly off the top rope, which, mm -hmm. you know, didn't expect that to no, happen. No, it's true. Didn't expect it. No? Um, but yeah, <laughs> there, was, there was a lot of Asuka kind of just showing what she could do. Mm-hmm. And proving like she's the one to compete with, um, but in the end, uh, Charlotte was able to uh, lock in the figure eight, and yep. Oscar actually tapped, tapped out. out. Yeah, um, which was a little surprising. Oh yeah, uh, but if, like you know, like I said in our predictions video, that if if they went this route, I, I'd be completely fine. Oh with yeah, it. there's nothing wrong with there's, it. Yeah, if anything, it's probably a relief to get the streak. Yeah, a little bit. With. I'm sure because a. You don't have to worry about accidentally messing something up. <laughs> B, you don't have to worry about like it getting in the way of a story because mm -hmm. you know it's like right. oh well. Well, I mean, we had three things you know in in a week. Uh, Alexa versus Oscar. They constantly reference the streak. Yeah. The mixed match challenge, all about the streak, mm -hmm. and then this match. Yeah. Which Obviously, is... he, she was going to win the first two because it kind of right. voids out mm -hmm. WrestleMania. Yeah. If, yeah, and it's hard. Yeah, because you have to book all around mm -hmm. it, so that throws like a, a a wrench into everything. Exactly. So it was a good way I did it. Probably, like you said, a relief, and uh, it was an excellent match. Yeah, that we absolutely. Had. Um, and you know, Charlotte's going to continue to dominate on SmackDown. Yeah, it's and... interesting to see where they go here. Mm -hmm. Um, who her next challenger will be, as she really 
I, has nobody. Yeah, there's no one I on mean, SmackDown. We really didn't get a Becky versus her feud, but there's that's not going to it's happen not going to happen. The way yeah, things are right Mm-mm. now. Yeah, um, but yeah, moving on to a slightly less uh, interesting. Yeah. Note. Um. No, nah, go ahead. The the most interesting thing about this is the fact that the person who should have won didn't win. <laughs> And that's so really do you all think, there is. Do you think this person uh, was put in the match just to take the pinfall so uh, his old men didn't look bad? Maybe. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> yeah, so this was obviously the U.S. title match, Jinder versus Rusev versus Randy Orton versus Bobby, Bobby Roode. Roode. Woo! And Jinder won, and yeah. he pinned Rusev. He did. Um, I, I really, this it just boggles the mind. Don't be surprised if Rusev isn't going to be around for much longer. That's really. Oh, well, it was funny because I think Jin. Oh, obviously. Because why would you give the guy the world title before anything else? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, back in the day, you win the Intercontinental title. Yeah, guess what? You're probably going to win the uh, world title next. Nope, not anymore. We're going to shoot you to the top, and then we don't know what the hell we're going to do with you. And then you're going to flounder at the top, Mm -hmm. and then you're going to go away for a little bit, and then you're going to win another title. Yeah. It was very disappointing. Yeah. Um, The match wasn't terrible, but it It also wasn't wasn't great. great. Yeah. Um, Rusev didn't come out on a tank, which was very upsetting. Yep. Um, Although the stage was entirely too small for that. It was strange because um, they obviously it was the superdome so it was a football stadium but they closed the dome so it seemed like it was an inside arena right yeah, so it was yeah, just it was... like an inside arena with a lot of seats yeah yeah it there was, was nothing else strange. to it the ramp was really short the stage wasn't that big so yeah it, they went a lot smaller than they normally do which oh is a little strange. we forgot to mention that john cena was in the crowd yes throughout a good portion of the match i think was it by this point that... Uh, by this point, I think he was no longer in there. Yeah, in the a referee crowd. had come out and told him, the Undertaker's here, and John looked around, jumped over the barricade, and then sprinted to the back. Well, he <laughs> kind of tried to jump over the barricade. That's true. It was a very sad... It was sad. But... Anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, so after that, we had what I guess some people considered the highlight of their night. Yeah, a lot of people did. Um, we had the ta- the mixed tag match between Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey versus Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. And, you know, I mean, for your casual viewer, this is absolutely... Oh, yeah. They, they hit it out of the park with it. You got to see Ronda Rousey beat up an old man. <laughs> yeah. Pretty um, much. Yeah. Um, the, this match started with basically Kurt Angle and Triple H. Yeah. Which we were... That was where we were all like, all right, how much ring time is Ronda actually going to see tonight? Yeah. Um, Stephanie kept on getting involved either attacking Kurt yeah. or I think, I think preventing they, they Ronda. They told a good story in it. And, um, and then eventually Ronda got the hot tag, mm-hmm. and then she kind of laid waste, yeah. so to speak. And then there was points where Triple H was trying to protect Stephanie, and she, he just kept on getting beat up and yep. stuff. And then we got, yeah, handful of back and forth between Ronda and Triple H and Ronda and Stephanie. Yeah. Uh, uh, Angle put Stephanie in the ankle lock. Yes. That was... Not expected, mm-hmm. but I guess this is the one match where they probably were going to do something yeah. like that. Yeah, if anything, it was definitely entertaining to yeah. watch. It was, it was, it was, it was pretty good. Yeah, and um, it seemed like it could have gone both ways. I mean, we expected obviously it to go the way yeah, it went, yeah, yeah, yeah. but there was times where it was like, oh, you know, maybe yeah. they're going to do this. While it would make no sense, maybe the shovels coming out. Yeah, while it would make no sense, it definitely <laughs> wasn't out of the realm of possibility. Yeah, um, but you know, Ronda moving into submission holds was absolutely fantastic yeah, yeah. well it's because that was the that thing was that she thing. did right right absolutely so all this other stuff is new to her mm-hmm. but that's what but, i mean would she just have a couple of throws in her uh samoan drop whatever you yeah. call it so but yeah it was an entertaining yes. match and this was the longest match of the night yeah which is strange mm-hmm. um but yeah, it was um, i guess it, it's kind of what they've been showcasing to be yeah. honest this was the match they pushed the most yeah but uh, in the end, Ronda made Stephanie tap out to an armbar, and uh, yeah, that's it. Yep. And then we had another—I don't want to say disappointing match because you know it's kind of the way I expected it to play out. But the uh, SmackDown Triple Threat Tag Team Championship match. There was one good thing about this match. <laughs> so yeah. the New Day comes out first, mm-hmm. and they um, they obviously have their grand entrance. And uh, they come out, and uh, 
uh, Xavier has his trombone and he plays the uh, from the original Power Rangers, the Green Ranger Dragon Zord mm-hmm. flute thing. It was really cool. But they didn't do anything else with it. Yeah. The and then they morning, had a bunch but... of little people come out dressed as what pancakes. pancakes. Yeah. And they with had pancake pancakes platters. And... Yeah, yeah, something like that. It was weird. But uh, it made sense. Well, the only disappointing thing on this is, you know, they kind of made a deal about the Usos never making it to the WrestleMania card, and they just kind of... Yeah, well, well, it was Kofi who got pinned, right, I think? I think so, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it was Biggie and Kofi from the New Day. Mm-hmm. And I believe it was the it was Kofi who got pinned. Yeah, but Bludgeon <sighs> Brothers went over. Mm-hmm. Not a huge surprise. No, they were building, building them as very dominant, yes. so... But... Again, don't know where they go, really, from here, unless there's some kind of call-up or whatever. Yeah, which I would expect, but yeah. who knows? It is going to be right after WrestleMania. Sure. This is where all the call-ups We'll see what Jeff happen. Jarrett does when he's going to be. There's going to be people getting released, and there's going to be people getting called up. Did we ha- we didn't have many releases last year, right? Uh, nothing, no one big. Was it Swagger that got released, or was it the Swagger year? left. Oh, he left, that was it. Or he asked for his release. Something like that, but, yeah. I think it was last year. No, um among was there was a few other people mm-hmm. like some women and stuff i think oh that's right yeah was that when summer Rae and no that was yeah no, that i thought was, that was yeah. later in the year when her yeah when her and emma got released that was later in the year oh yes yeah. yeah, true because emma's 90 day no compete clause ended in like february or something like that so that was the end of the year but you know i guess regardless of when it happened it did happen yeah it's true yeah um so up next we they... had all right no, no go ahead okay well, we had uh, John Cena coming out because he was told that the Undertaker was going to be mm-hmm. was going to be there. Goes to the ring. There's a referee in the ring. He gets announced. Another referee runs down to the ring, says, "John, it's, it's not, not going to happen. happen. <laughs> not going to happen." And then um, all of a sudden, the lights go out. Yep. And then, well, we... John walked around the ring looking disappointed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. All and right. then he starts walking up, and then that's when the lights, lights go, go out. Right, and then we hear the guitar. Yep. <laughs> lights go back on. It's Elias. Were you expecting somebody else? <laughs> so what this, a jerk. This just infuriated, well, everybody and John Cena. John yeah. Cena said, screw this. You know what? I'm going back to the, the crowd. Yep. And then Elias played a little bit of his song, ran down New Orleans and John Cena and whoever else. Yep. John Cena said, you know what? Screw this. Going after him. Yep. Goes in the ring. What did he hit? Five knuckle shuffle and then the AA? Yeah. And then uh, Elias mm-hmm. rolls out. Yep. Cena's music hits. Starts leaving. Walks towards the top of the entrance. Mm-hmm. And then the lights go out again. Yep. Lights come back up. There is a hat and coat in the ring. So I'm thinking at this point, I'm like, oh, man, that means it's going to be the American badass. And... Apparently I was hoping wrong. he'd hit him with his motorcycle. <laughs> Just run him over. Run him over. Um, so what ended up happening, some lightning strikes hits the uh, hits the hat and the uh, coat, which is actually really cool. Um, yeah, no, no. It was, I, 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 I thought they played this well. Yeah, and then the lights come back on. Um, they're gone out of the ring, which was cr- pretty impressive that mm-hmm. they were able to yeah. subtly get the stuff in and out. Um, and then... Uh, obviously, Undertaker's music hits. Mm-hmm. He strolls to the ring at a very leisurely play- pace. The entrance was longer than the match. Yes. Much longer than yeah. the match. Um, and then the match begins. Well, let's be completely honest here. Did you want to watch The Undertaker and John Cena wrestle for 15 minutes? No. Okay. Uh, no, I had no, no problem yeah. with the length yeah. of the match. No, nope, I know. The only surprising thing was the fact that it was a complete squash of John Cena at WrestleMania. It was very strange. You know, I mean... A lot of John's old, you know, I guess tendencies or habits that people complained about him kind of uh, no longer there. No, because, you know, considering the fact that, like like I said, he lost. Who, how many people do you know that's at the top of the card that would have just taken a 2 minute and 45 second loss at WrestleMania? Um, well, you know, the, the Dewey guy did lose like in... Little fair enough i guess that's true series, so. yeah but he probably got a huge payday for just that i guess that's true and it was building to something else yeah it's fair. but anyway undertaker beat john good. cena he, he looked lo- good he looked a lot better than he did we got the last old school years. we saw him off yeah. the ropes and yeah. he moved around pretty good yeah <laughs> once um, he hit old school and he came down then it was looking a little uh well you know yeah 
Oh, well, because it was with the build with Reigns last year where he chokes land on it. Yeah, and it was like, oh, this is not good. Yeah. Um, Undertaker, uh, I think Cena put him down. He goes for the five knuckle shuffle. Sits Undertaker up. sits up, choke slam Cena, tombstone. That's End it. Match. So yeah, it was a good match. Um, we had a, a payoff to the build, which we were weren't sure if we were going to get or right. not. Um, and there was a lot of speculation that this match might happen next year, which yeah, wouldn't make a whole talk. lot of sense. No. I mean, um, so we're glad that we got it over, not over with, but we had it this year. Yes. It could lead to something at a later point in the time during the year or whatever, which mm-hmm. was okay. Because like I said, it's still strange that John Cena lost in such a decisive manner. Oh, absolutely. So there's got to be something they're doing with this. What, what is he just going to blow it off? Or is he filming other movies? Or But well, why would he disappear from just uh, well, this? Well, I'm just though, saying, you know, I don't so know. That, that part doesn't make a whole lot of sense. doesn't. Um, that is yeah. one thing, yeah. There was a lot of questionable booking where we don't, we're like, where do they go from here? Yeah. Um, speaking of which, we have uh, the tag team match from SmackDown that pitted... Uh, Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. If Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn lost, they were still fired. Yes. Um, wow. Just Daniel Bryan. Oh, I mean, yeah. It was. Uh, he didn't miss miss a beat. No. Well, he, we were talking about this last night mm-hmm. and saying how long we thought he trained to get ready. Right. He never stopped. No. There's no way he stopped. No. So. He probably did as much as he was allowed to do, mm-hmm. um, and just you know, don't tell him I'm training. Well, you know, he, there's nothing <laughs> wrong with training. No, he I just know. can't take bumps. Yeah. That's it. Um, so this match started with Shane and Daniel Bryan coming out, mm-hmm. and then they're waiting for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Their music hits, and then they come through the crowd, attacking from behind. Not a surprise. Um, they, they just can never get Daniel Bryan right, though. Like, the way the match was built. Uh, it was fine. No, well, I know, but I mean... All right, so Daniel Bryan got... What did he get? Thrown into the ring... Or buckle bomb... Uh, not buckle bomb. Uh, yeah. Power bombed the, on the apron, yeah. thrown into the ring post, something, yeah. whatever. So they he was attended to... For a very long time. Basically, the majority of the match. Yeah. And we got to see Vince's son throwing punches like a three-year-old <laughs> in the ring. It just... It just, What I'm saying is it just killed the crowd. And... and well, once he, because I think it was meant to be disappointment, and, and then, then Daniel Bryan came back. Yeah. I guess, but so. it, I, I just feel like it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, Bryan was out for a good majority of the match, like you said, mm-hmm. and he comes back to sh- save Shane because he desperately needed it. Yeah. Um, he ends up single-handedly taking out uh, Owens and Zayn, yep. and he ends up making, I believe, Zayn, Zayn tap, tap out, out. to yeah. the uh, to the yes lock. Yes. Um, and, uh, yeah, and they gave this match 15 minutes, yes. too. Well, that's the thing, because there was such a long period of time where Shane McMahon was by himself. It was probably yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah. So, um, and then uh, the, the question is, where do we go from here with the Owens yeah. and Zayn? Are they going to be on Raw? Mm-hmm. Are they going to be off TV for a little bit? And right. And they get another chance? Uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, if they change general managers, that's where it could, or uh, commissioners... Eh, I don't think so. Because, you know, Shane's still in charge of something. I guess. You ever can get somebody else on. They're just going to replay the storyline yeah, again. Does, that would be bad. <laughs> so, yeah. we'll have to see. I wouldn't be surprised if we see them on Raw tonight. Yeah. Um, Like, what they would do is maybe, like, just in the, randomly in the middle of the show, they'd come through the crowd, call, oh, out, yeah. call out Kurt Angle, and say... Like we're the we're the hottest free agents or something, something like, like that. that. Heath Slater all over again. Yeah, and then it's like <laughs> you have to win a match, and it would be against Braun and, and his and, tag team partner. Yeah, or something like that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, no, neither would I. Yeah. So, nope. um, but yeah, we'll yeah. see. And then we had the Raw Women's Championship match that yeah. we were so looking forward to. Um, didn't go the way that I expected. No, they gave it 10 minutes. Yeah, I, I was expecting a very quick squash match, mm-hmm. having I had just destroy Alexa. Right. Before the, did the bell ring or not when Nia started beating up Mickey James? Um, it might have. Yeah. I think it probably did based off of the length of time. Yeah. The so match obviously ran. Alexa was not by herself. Yeah. Uh, Naya made a beeline right for Mickey James and just beat the crap out of her outside yeah. the. I think basically she came in, the bell rang, 
she rolled out of the ring, attacked Mickey, mm-hmm. made sure that Mickey was a non-issue. Right. And Which then sense. continued. Because I think while uh, Naya was beating up Mickey, Alexa came over and started to try to attack her. And that's when Naya turned around and just gave her the death stare. Yeah. Um, Alexa got a little offense in. She had a, a twisted bliss off the top rope onto mm-hmm. the floor. Yeah, well, she had taken her knee out at one point, mm-hmm. and that's what she worked on for the majority of the match. Yeah. I think she hit a DDT, you got a close, a near fall, mm-hmm. and then Naya just said, all right, screw this, I'm done playing around. Yeah. And not she win with a Samoan drop? Samoan drop off the top. The oh, that's rope. right, yeah, the middle rope, yes. Super Samoan drop. Yes. Surprised uh, Roman hasn't done one of those. Hey. Um, um, but the right person won. It's true. And that's really all that matters in this match. Yeah. Well, yeah, especially with the story that they were telling. Mm-hmm. Um, so you yeah. gotta think uh, Carmella's just gonna fail to have a failed cash in or something. I, I... Um, or she'll be the only person to not, not <laughs> cash, cash in. in. Carmella, you I got... keep on trying, but it's not working. <laughs> it's not working, right? So yep. that's really all you can really think. Yeah. Pretty much. Um. So. Uh, that brings us to the WWE title match. AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah. Um, I don't want to say I was disappointed because I wasn't, but it was a it was little a, lacking. It was a face versus face match. That's the problem no, here. No, nothing on the line like, except like, for the title. Like we get it was supposed much. to be a dream match and things like that, but I guess... In order for them to tell the story in the ring, you kind of need a reason besides, mm-hmm. you know. Well, yeah, there's no there's no fire. Right. I think that's really what so. it was. And it was a good match. Yeah. It was just kind of felt like they both weren't. Not that they weren't in it, but they just, there was not a whole lot of, I like, I need this And the win. crowd wasn't even super into it. Also true. But we were almost seven hours into it, yeah. or six hours into it at this point. Yeah. So. so. That did not help, and it's that's true. that's the problem with these long, matches long later. Well, years. later on in the card, yeah, you put the big matches up, but people are already exhausted. Mm-hmm. It's true, um, but yeah, AJ eventually wins with mm-hmm. the Styles Clash. He had, yeah, it uh, hit a um, phenomenal forearm earlier, but Shinsuke kicked out of yes. it. Um, so the two of them kind of like. Oh, that's right. Okay, so um, after the match, Shinsuke grabs the belt. And goes to present it to AJ yep. on his knees. And then he hands it to him. AJ takes it. And then Shinsuke hits him with a low blow. Yeah. Which was a nice little uh, it surprise. Was, it was a surprise, that's yeah. for sure. Um, um, threw him outside the ring. He had a Kinshasa. Yep. And that was that. Yeah. So uh, I guess Shinsuke is now a heel. Yeah. Hey. And it means that this feud is going to continue. Which yeah. is really the only way that they could have kept Well, the that's guy. what it was. We were really speculating. All right. What are they going to do next year? Yeah. And so we'll get Shinsuke and AJ moving forward, which is fine, mm-hmm. um, because that feud, I'm sure, once we have a little I, more, I would. No, what were you gonna say? Uh, just a little more uh, fuel, right? Yeah, and that. I would be okay if the title jumped back and forth a few times oh, yeah. or something no like that. Not to. Yeah, no. So it's not like AJ really has anything riding on. It's two main event guys fighting yeah. for the world title. Yeah, that That's doesn't happen really not not anymore. No, apparently. that's so. uh, yeah. But yeah, it was a solid match. Yep. Second longest by 20 seconds on the uh, whole card. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah 20 seconds. That's yeah, what so, it was. Uh, but yeah, it was... Uh, mm-hmm. uh, it, it's building to something, which is good. Right, right. So maybe SummerSlam or something like that will be their blow-off match or yeah. whatever. But, so, you know. <laughs> or it could be next year's WrestleMania. Who knows? Know. Who knows? Um, well, they don't do that really much anymore. It's still possible. Oh, I'm not disagreeing. It's yeah. just that, you know... People Short want to attention pay off. spins and that, that and yeah, that we want it now. Yeah, we want it and we want it now. Mm-hmm. Um, and we had the highly anticipated WWE Raw Tag Team Championship match. Who is gonna be Braun Strowman's tag team? That partner? was the question. All right, so they kind of <laughs> messed up a little bit here. Mm. They had Sheamus and Cesaro enter like on a float with a bunch of like character mm-hmm. things. Yeah, 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 and they kind of made it not obvious that that's what was going on it right. kind of seemed like a sideshow yeah 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 because yeah, yeah. o- they had all different music and stuff like that yeah, it so like, it wasn't uh, obvious that that was what was happening was until like, like the very end when they put the camera close up mm-hmm. on them so that was kind of like a missed well it, it was supposed to be a whole mardi gras thing but yes yeah, which yeah. is true right you're right but yeah, the fact but... that it wasn't obvious that that it was seamus and Fair cesaro's enough. entrance at wrestlemania kind of is a little bit of a little bit 
a little bit. Um, so they come out. Their music hits. They go down to the ring. Braun comes out, and he uh, he grabs the microphone. Well, first they announce the bar, mm-hmm. and then or JoJo announces the bar, and then Strowman, and then she goes. And his partner, he grabs the microphone, and he says that, I had, I needed to wait until I was in New Orleans to pick mm-hmm. a partner because it's mm-hmm. not someone in the back. It's any it, one of you. Yeah, someone in the WWE universe. Yep. So he runs. He walks around in the crowd. He's getting followed by a little kid. I mean, come, there were so many good choices in the crowd. I mean, sure. you had unfortunately John Cena was no longer a fan. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. I mean, Tanahashi was in the crowd. Minoru Suzuki was in the crowd. No way, Jose was in the he, crowd. He was yes. There was a bunch of people. Yeah. Um, he settled on a uh, a fan named Nicholas. Yep. Who which was turns out to be John Cone's son, which makes sense. Yeah. Um. So, they ha- he has the kid <laughs> sitting in on the turnbuckle, and then he just destroys Shamus. We were arm. dying though. We, it we, was we, great. It, it was great. But that's that's what it is. It's all about the entertainment. Yeah. It, and then that's what it, I think a lot of people forget. Yeah. But it's but, supposed to be fun. Right. To watch. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um. So. He, at one point, he tags in Nicholas, and uh, Cesaro is the legal man, and Cesaro kind of is just looking at him, and then Braun goes, tag me back in. <laughs> then he gets the hot tag, and then that's when he hits. But, but that just adds another, you know, you know, uh, thing to a Braun Strowman. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's great. Yeah. He's, he's an all-around... Yeah. He's entertaining. He's uh, obviously got a lot of, go- a lot of like... A good rapport with the fans mm-hmm. and everything. So I don't even think people were mad about this. Who, I mean, who could be mad? I know, I know, but There's I mean, nothing to be mad about. It was. Great. I, I just the, love that they trolled everybody. Yeah, I, the I, only that, thing that you could really be mad about is the fact that you didn't get picked if you were in the. Well, that too, that's yeah. the only thing you could be disappointed <laughs> about. You should have done. You should have marketed yourself better. Um, and he walked all the way back yeah, to he find did. him. He was really far away. Yeah, I guess the referees don't let them get to have their people up front. Nah, believe it or not, they don't have as much clout as yeah. uh, the McMahon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, we Linda saw yeah, we saw the... Linda up front and uh, Shane's whole family. Yeah, so which wasn't a surprise. No, and they were probably just up there during his match anyway, most likely. But yeah, this match only lasted four minutes. So. That's true, and that's all it needed. Well, to. in all fairness, the whole segment probably lasted over ten. That's yeah, but fair enough. The match from bell to bell was four, four minutes. minutes. Yeah, um, and then that brought us to the main event. <sighs> Yeah. Big bad Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship. He was winded by the time he made it to the ring. He most certainly was. No, um, like... So... I finally accepted it. Uh-huh. I'm okay with it. Just uh-huh. put the title on Roman. That's fine. Let's let's move past all this crap and just, just, just do what you want to do. Um, nope. So, and I kind of noticed something was off during the match. It just kept going on. Well, it was more of Suplex City, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Roman gets hit with the F5, which has successfully uh, pinned himself at SummerSlam last year. Braun Strowman, Samoa Joe, Mm. AJ, um, and he kicks out. And Paul Heyman no-sold it completely. He's like, oh, you know, that happens all the time. And then I'm like, isn't... That's a little weird. And that's supposed to be, like, the thing that stops him. Like, shouldn't Heyman, you know, be building this up a little bit? Then he hits him with another one. And then Heyman's reaction is, again, really not that (laughs) much. And then he hits a third one. (laughs) And Heyman, at this point, seems a little concerned, but that's, like... Three. It was three at that point, Yeah, that's, like, a before F5 concern. Right, 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 yeah. Like he had when Samoa Joe was actually getting some offense on Braun. Yeah. But yeah, he was super concerned during that match. Yeah. So um, Roman starts getting some offense in after the third F5. Hits him with like two spears, I think. Brock kicks out. They go on the outside. Brock hits an F5 um, on the... Uh, on I thought the, that was the ending the, sequence. No, because that was before he started. Oh, yeah, that's right. He did hit the spear. Yeah. yeah. I thought he maybe hit just one. No, he hit two. Oh, did he the, hit two? The first one, he got up immediately. Oh, okay. And then the second one, he went right. for the pinfall. Because the final sequence, he went he, for two he did as the well. Same right. Thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what I wasn't sure. Yeah. I, I... Um, so 
he hits him with an F5 through the announce table. Um, they go back into the ring. Um, at this point, uh, Brock like goes for a cover. Roma kicks out. Brock's like, I've had enough. He then he takes off the gloves. Takes or? off his gloves to elbow, to use his elbow. <laughs> That's Makes right. sense. Well, I guess it's a full motion through. It does. It's stupid. So he elbows Roman several uh, like three times in the head. Roman gets busted open. Um, so he I guess hits him with another F five. Well, at this point, Roman is gushing. Well, with... he after we know. Oh, we I guess didn't we didn't notice, notice it first. Right. He either hit him with the suplex or another F five. Um, and then they co- you see Roman's face, and it's just covered in blood. Mm-hmm. Um, and at this point, Roman kind of loses it, hits him with One a couple sp- of Superman yeah. punches, and yep. then a, then two spears, I think. Ro- uh, Brock, Brock kicks out. Kicks out because at this point we're like, okay, this is it. This has got to be it. And then Brock kicks out. I'm like, no. <laughs> and then, and then at that point, he hits him with one last F5, and then he pins him. Yep. And I'm like, why? Like, what is the point of this? Yeah, what did we gain here? Brock was supposed to be leaving. We were supposed to be free of this nonsense. And yet it, it happened anyway. Right. And, and, and not not that it take, ruins the show, because it didn't. But it just takes away and just leaves a bad taste in your it's mouth. True. It's just like, why? This yeah. is SummerSlam all over it again. It is. But it, two years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's but right. But still, it's the same crap with Randy Orton. Right. There was no need for it. Yeah. I, I just, I don't understand... Uh, hopefully something will come like some like shock value isn't a huge thing you know yeah like, well th- it's just this wasn't the place right right that's yeah exactly you know what i mean you could have swerved and let nakamura turn heel and then win the title or something stupid yeah. like that right this was not not the right call um maybe something will happen on raw and did have some... us on the edge of our seats ever, uh, though no what they did was they made it intriguing, and you kind of want to see what's going to happen. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Well, you're going to turn in, tune into Raw now for yeah, this. because you want to know why and all that stuff. Yeah. So, I don't know. Like, we both were very annoyed, and so were a lot of fans. I was listening to the Taz show, which was going on during the match, um, or during the, uh, the, I think, the whole pay-per-view. I'm not sure exactly. Um, but I usually catch it on my way home after the, uh, the shows. after the pay-per-views. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was talking and he had a few callers that were complaining about the fact that Brock won. Yeah. Not necessarily that Roman lost, yeah. but the fact, the fact that, that Brock, Brock won. won. Right. Well, so. I, I think that was the point. I think everybody was like, all right, fine. You're going to do this. All right. Let, at least do it. Don't, yeah. don't just, mm-hmm. I don't know. <sighs> it, it just didn't make any sense. Cancel yeah. WWE Network. Yeah, no. If Rock wins, we riot. There you go. I think they just hit 2 million subscribers, too. Well, it's probably going to dip once the sure. first people have yeah. to start They have 1.6 million paid subscribers. Yeah. Then. So. But, yeah, no, overall, good show. I mean, you know, obviously. A couple of sour points. And that's but... it. But that's just normal. Yeah. I mean, a six-hour wrestling show, it's, it's going to happen. It's very true. But so. so yeah, that was our WrestleMania review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.